Hi there, welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to make a coast, some coasters and a lovely tray using this fantastic mica powders. Here we are. First one was by Arteza, second one came in a resin set and we're going to apply them using a regular paintbrush into these square shaped coaster moulds. We are actually going to make four coasters but I'm only going to just show you the two here currently. We're going to also use some lovely clear resin and this fantastic pink paisley fabric from a company called Koala Creations. Everything we've used will be listed in the description box below along with any discount codes if at all you know if we have any to offer you. So just carefully applying the lovely raspberry pink coloured mica powder by Arteza. The other mica powder, the metallic gold, is by the same people whose resin we're using currently, uh, Ghoul, G-H-G-O-U-L-E. Uh, so there we are, just tipping out the excess. There we are. Thought we'd go for a half and half pattern, just trying to make the edge a little bit neater, just using a wet wipe there, just to clean up the excess on the mica powder that's gone into the other side. I love this colour mica. It's it's gorgeous. Arteza's raspberry, I think it's called raspberry pink. It's it's just it's just beautiful. <laughs> um there we go. And you know, nothing better than a little bit of pink, a little bit of sparkle. Now this gold, oh my goodness. Look at that. It's a real rich, vibrant gold colour. It's the sheen on it. I mean, I've put way too much in this mould. But, uh, you know, obviously I kept the excess, tipped it in back into the little bottle container. Um, it's just gorgeous. It goes on more like metallic powder. If you've ever used um, Let's Resin's metallic powders, you'll know what I mean. So it has more of a coverage of that. There we go, so there's the two. As I said, we also did this with another two. So it's a set of four coasters with a matching tray mould. And thought we'd go for something a little bit different there. So in this small amount of resin, it's the ghoul resin or the ghoul resin. It's a one to one mixing ratio. We're putting in a little bit of the golden metallic mica powder and quite a bit more of this lovely raspberry pinky red colour by Arteza. Going to stir that up together. There we are. So this is Wayne now, just stirring up the resin. It gives a beautiful raspberry pinky gold colour. It's it's quite unusual. It looks more raspberry pink in the cup there, in the container. But it does have, can you see all those tinges of golden glitter in it? It, it just, I love what it does. I love what it does. So just pouring a very thin layer onto the coasters. There we go. And just sort of, that's literally all that's going to go in. I'm just helping it to the, all to the edges and to the sides. Wayne's just tilting the mould slightly there, as you can see. There weren't a lot of bubbles in this resin either. In fact, it didn't even put it through the um, resiners. Uh, debubbling or gassing machine that we've got. Obviously if you do see any bubbles you can get rid of them using applying a little bit of heat uh, by using a long necked lighter. Don't ever use a torch though because you risk burning the mould. So there we are. So the next thing we did is we did actually measure. Now I couldn't for the life of me find my measuring tape so I used a stir stick and uh, cut out the um, well, I lined it up, measured the inside of the mould and then uh, obviously did what I'm doing here, which is to line it up on the piece of fabric and then cut it out so that it was more or less the size that we required. It did need a little bit of adjusting, a little bit of fine trimming, should we just say. And I also rounded off the edges so that the final piece you can see... Um, a little bit of the resin, the beautiful raspberry goldy colour shining through from underneath. So here we go. Just uh, um, do whatever you do. Make sure you've got sharper scissors than I had to hand. Must invest in some fabric only 
uh, scissors. There we go. So just trimming off the salvage edge because obviously we don't want that in the mould. There we go. And there's the mould. And there's one of the moulds that we haven't done yet. Just seeing, you know, how is it sort of shaping up? Is it sort of to size? And as you can see, it's overlapping slightly. So just trimmed it up a little bit more just to make it a bit narrow. And then I rounded the edges and that's what it looks like when it's in the mould. Now, things we would do differently in the future. Definitely iron the fabric. <laughs> definitely iron the fabric. Right. Here is the tray mould. You've seen us probably use this once before. It's a beautiful oblong shaped um, mould. It has square sides. I, measure, I measured, this time I'd found my tape measure, I measured the uh, width and um, the length and then made sure that I cut it out of the fabric. There we are. Again, I'm very sorry. I could have done this a lot better. Please, um, if you have a cutting board, use a cutting board and a wheel. That will probably look aesthetically a lot more pleasing for viewers. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, just just forgive me for this. I, I had to use what I had to hand. Um, I just could not find a lot of the things that I used to have when I used to do sewing. But there we go. So there's the piece of fabric. I love this fabric. Loves the pinks and purples. So just going to measure it up into the mould. See if it's OK. See if it needs a little bit of adjusting or not. And, yeah. There we go. So that's quite a good match there. No rounded corners on this one. There we are. Yeah, no rounded corners required. So then what I did is to match the coasters, we did a half and half again with this beautiful gold metallic mica powder. Just applying it again with the paintbrush, just a regular paintbrush all the way inside. So I did one top piece, the longer piece, and one shorter piece. And there we go. We're also using that lovely raspberry pinky red colour mica powder from Arteza to do the opposite. So a short, the shorter length and then the longer length along the bottom. So yeah, just using the paintbrush again, regular paintbrush, just to apply it making sure you do go up the insides of the mould as well. There we go. So, need to pop the fabric. Sorry, let's just jump around a little bit this video. So, the, the resin that you saw Wayne pour earlier has gone tacky. Now, all I'm then doing is placing down the fabric so then the resin acts like a glue and makes it so that the fabric can adhere to the resin in the mold so yet yeah, definitely things to know for the future iron the fabric and then just using a little micro brush there obviously you can use a stir a clean stir stick um, if you wish but I'm just gently pushing it down around the edges making sure there's no, like, I'm rubbing my finger over it just to make sure that there's no air bubbles trapped anywhere between the fabric and the resin. There we go. I do adore this fabric. There we go. Let's just do a last little bit, making sure. Now, Wayne is making up the resin here to go in the tray. So just added some gold mica powder to the resin and then some of this lovely raspberry pink. Fabulous. He's mixed it up and then this is the sort of colour. So it's, it's, it's got a bit of a golden tinge to it. Now pouring it into the tray. So just started at one side and just pouring it in there. Sorry, slightly off camera out of shot there um, but just pouring the resin so it goes down around the sides first of all there we go it's quite satisfying to watch that actually it's a beautiful rich sort of raspberry golden color 
and then just up the other side. There we go. Now you do want it to go all the way up the inside and round the edges of the tray and then over the base of the tray as well. So it's just starting, there we go, to come out over the base of the tray. There we are. And then we, all we did is pour the rest of it on and then made sure that it did all completely cover the base right up to the top of the mould. And that's it to the left hand side of this shot. Now, just going in with another layer of clear resin and putting it over the coaster mould that has the fabric in it. And we repeated that for the other three coasters as well. So that's just now just helping it to the edges of the mould using a spatula or a stirrer. There we go. Just helping it all to the edges of the mould and then making sure that there's clear resin all the way to the top of the coaster mould. Just taking it to take your time, make sure um, that you've got it all there and that also then that you do have it up to the top of the mould so you get a nice even flat surface for the cure. So it cures nice and evenly as well. If you see any spiny little bubbles get rid of them either by using a stir stick or giving it a quick spritz with some isopropyl alcohol. So this is a good 24 hours later. This is this beautiful tray. I love the way the resin has gone and it literally like pulls into the centre there. It's not quite so pretty on the other side, unfortunately. Look at that gold edge, it looks beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, I don't know what's happened with this bit, but it doesn't matter because you're not gonna see it. But you've got the gold on the long edge and the shorter edge of the top of the tray and the same with that beautiful raspberry color. Look at that, it's stunning. Love it beautiful no air bubbles anywhere so we're good to carry on now we do need to um, put do exactly the same with the fabric in the tray as we did with the coaster molds and we will do that now we will do that in a, in a little while but first of all let's do a bit of a demold here so here we are here's the coasters we've got a little bit of tidying up there to do on the edges I thought maybe there was a little bubble there, but I don't think there is. But definitely, definitely do need to iron the fabric in the future. Now, you've got a bit of, it's a little bit of an uneven coating there of that golden mica powder. But to be honest with you, I think that just adds to these, makes them look a little bit more perhaps vintage looking. Uh, the edges, um, it was at this point I decided that the edges I was going to put um, some gold uh, metallic pen, which I'll show you shortly. So this is just demolding one of the other ones. Beautiful, beautiful fabrics. Definitely worth in the UK. If you're in the UK and you're ever out in the Bristol area, head out to Koala Creations. They're at Chipping Sobbery. They do also do. I think they do online sales as well. But all their information will be listed in the description box for you to see. They got a vast array and selection of fabrics. It's very much like an Aladdin's cave kind of shop. You walk around it three or four times to make sure you haven't missed anything. So here we are with the lovely gold chrome marker pen by uh, Let's Resin. And I started to apply it. Now, I don't know if it's because I'm used to using the other type of uh, gold marker pens that I've got, the deco art ones. But this didn't seem to want to go on quite as well as the other brand that we have. But I didn't give up. I did what I could and then went back a couple of hours later and did a second coat. So if you can't get all of it to go on in your first coat that you do, then, you know, leave it an hour or two and then go back and do another coat. So there we are. Obviously, this has been sped up. Take your time when you do this. Now, back to the tray. Wayne has poured in a small amount of clear, just clear resin, same resin as we've used all the way through for this project, just spreading it around using his fingers. Obviously, you can use a stir stick if you prefer doing that, or um, you can use a spatula. Totally up to you. 
So he's just trying to help it to the edges by using one of these plastic uh, spatulas. There we are. This has been sped up because he did take his time doing this, but uh, you know, just, just be careful. Make sure you've got everything to the edges. And there we go, straight in with the fabric. Just pressing it down again. Um, I don't know why we've got so many creases in this fabric. But uh, yeah, so he's just going through, he's just rubbing his hands over it, his fingers over it to make sure that he's got out as many air bubbles as possible. And then going straight in with the rest of the clear resin so it seals in the fabric. There we go. So he's just letting it find its own level, find its way, giving it a bit of a helping hand by tilting it slightly. There we are. And here's our final shot. So I hope you've enjoyed that vid, the video. Um, this beautiful, beautiful paisley print coasters with the gorgeous gold edging. And then obviously as well, the matching tray. Absolutely stunning. I think this is one of my favorite pieces. And here we are, the coasters with the tray together. Thank you ever so much for watching, tuning, liking, subscribing. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. We've got another video coming on Wednesday. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.